Well, it's Saturday morning, 6.47 a.m., uh, 77 degrees. I'm here with uh, Chase, and, oops, Chase and Sam. And that there's Bo. We're fixing to walk the point this morning real quick. Hey, Bo. These are the spiders that lady was talking about the other day. I don't know if you can see those. I want to count them. We don't have time for that. All right, let's go. This is not supposed to be a swimming session. We're just trying to cool the dogs, dogs off a little bit for a walk. Seriously, guys, come on, come on, come on! Ah, I just got a spider on me. Okay, let's get this walk done. Go us enough horse play. Come on. Dog play, I guess, technically. We literally just went swimming a minute ago. We want to go swimming again. Here comes Chase. That is a good look at the beaver channels that we were doing earlier in the year. I don't know if you can see that. I thought that was a beaver at first. That's actually a duck of some sort. I'm gonna have to hit that again on the second loop. 718, we're almost completed the first loop. It's 78 degrees. Things are getting pretty grim out here. We're gonna try to attempt to do uh, one more loop. Uh, if we don't make it, this will be our last dog video. But we just need to get these dogs in the water real quick. Also, uh, Bo had her second poop, which is a, a great success. Pitch it up, Chase, go ahead, come on. Bo, you better bring that ball, Bo. Come on. Seriously. I know you're drinking water, but bring it. Come on. Come on. Good enough. Well, we've got the bros up there just kind of walking nice, and Bo's kind of lagging behind us. Hey, Bo, you want to get a move on, please? Go on. Stay out of the boat the best you can. All right, let's move. Come on. Go on. Move it. Well, Dave back there is kind of complaining because the water's low and it's full of this stuff called milfoil. Uh, but the dogs aren't complaining. That's Bo in the water, ready to go. Where's Chase? Wow, the water level is low, though. This is dangerously low. I want to swim in there in the mud flats. But Dave won't allow it. Yeah, you don't want to swim in the sea. 
This is the same stuff that goes to both places. Bo, bring that ball, please. Seriously? These dogs smell so bad now. They rolled in something dead. They both did Bo and uh, Chase. Bring it up, Bo. Come on, bring it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, second loop is kind of winding down. We're going to go ahead and swim them one more time. Sanitary swim at the end. And then uh, pretty much wrap this morning walk up. It went pretty good. It's 81 degrees now, 7.55 a.m. So it's gonna be a scorcher today. The last scorcher scheduled. Tomorrow it's gonna to drop about 10, 10 to 20 degrees. So we get through today. That's Sam right there. Hey, Sam. Sam, yeah, pitch it up. Stop standing around, Sam. Go on, get it. Pitch it up, Sam. Sam, That's Sam. it. Come on, bud. He wants Sam. a hippo. <laughs> Sorry, Bo. Law of the jungle out here. Chase usually hates this ball, but it's so hot. And it's got a squeaker. <laughs> nice job guys, way to hustle. Nice job, Bo. Bo, get that damn ball though. Chase, little help, Chase. <laughs> well, it's still Saturday, 1 11 p.m., 97 degrees. Just me and Bo right now. We're gonna go for some swimming action just to get her out of the house and to cool her off a little bit. Check in a little later. That's not good. Those sons of bitches right there going right to our swimming hole. Huh. There's just a lot of people out here today. There's a bass fishing tournament on. That's why the parking lot's full of trucks and boat trailers. It's just, we don't like weekends or the summer really. Those people down there, oh geez. Well, we'll have to make do. Well, luckily the water's at all time low, so we got plenty of beach. So uh, we're just a little upstream where we normally go. Um, I'm gonna see if Bo wants to do any swimming. Yeah, it looks like she does. kind of problematic area it's more cobbly than we like um, we like more pebbles for these dogs but uh, that might be a function of the water level too no that's not right not sure what it is a function of geology river flow nice job though
Yeah, just kind of a nice mellow afternoon, really. Just me and Bo against the world. We're just out here swimming and stuff. See, it's not a good area for her to do any running and sudden leaps into the water because of the cobbles. But I think once she gets in the water, it's going to be a fine, it's a fine situation. It's just a little difficult walking in and out, but she is a dog after all. I think she'll uh, she'll be fine. Just keep an eye on her. The home audience can help keep an eye on her too, I guess. Pretty good little leap right there. Nice job, Bo. A lot of energy. Go on, Bo, we'll get it. That's a good job. Go on. Wait a minute. What's that noise? Chase! Hey! Doing here, hey, Sam. Hey, okay, things just got real. Uh, here's a roll call. That's Sam, who you know. That's Bo, who we also know, right there. Nice job, Bobo. And the way out over there is a little chase. See him? Where's Sam? That's Bo again right there. <laughs> Both going after Sam's. Oh, he's so colorful. I know he likes that, even though his is supposed to be the blue. I bet you Chase drops it. Oh, wait, that's Bo. That is Bo. Oh, you thought that was Chase? No, bro. Here comes Chase. Oh. Pandemonium in the water. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> it does be That's Dave psyching up Bo for a swim. No idea why Are you serious? Chase, a little help. It's kind of too much behind the scenes, I guess. Bo's ready, though. He knows he's ready. That's Chase. And that noise was Sam. Right there. Any action for Bo? No. A uh, little action, I guess. Nice job, Bo. Pretty good. All right, Dave, give it. Give. Fetch it up. Good boy. Go fetch it up. Fetch it up.
a boat that was really nice swimming. A lot of pride. Really good job today. I'm back. What did I miss? Well, I just got back from the uh, taco truck. I got myself a burrito, but uh, Bo's gonna have chicken taco. It's real spicy, Bo. Let's see if it's any good. That is so good, Bobo. I think you'll enjoy that a lot. I don't feed her people food. Well, I guess I do. But I still like to mix the more nutritious dog food in her meals. Let me get a closer look right there. Jump up, jump up, jump up. Well, it's Sunday morning coming down, August 1st, 7.15 a.m., 81 degrees. Very poor air quality today because of the Western wildfires. Uh, not a good day for Travis and his girls to be visiting, but that's what's gonna happen. Might have to do a Bedouin style um, barbecue dinner with everybody inside the house sitting on the floor, I guess. We'll figure it out though. Right now, the main goal is to get a poop out of this dog and swim her just a little bit. Because as you probably could guess, is uh, we're gonna swim later on this afternoon. So the dog here doesn't need a whole, oh, let me introduce the dog. This here's Bo. Two and a half year old uh, golden retriever that lives with me. That requires constant walks and swims, and feeding and treats, and leather couches. And squeaky toys. There, mine just wandered. <clears throat> Bobo, bring it. Bo, bring it, come on. Good enough. There's the roll. Eh. Well, something felt uh, off. So I checked the phone internet. It's 55% humidity. We had a very small storm that came in on us last night. Uh, and I think 
it's kind of still here without the the rain or anything it's just humid so it's very uncomfortable right now i guess miles will swim right here oh no it's too hey bo that's way too muddy come on <whistles> bo come on This would be a good place for her to poop. Perfect. Close to the trash cans. Well, it wasn't that close to the damn trash cans. They moved them on us. All right, Bobo, come on. Bobo, come on. That's a dog across the river, Bo. Well, you can see the water level is still quite low. My friend Dave Warren had predicted that it'd rise today by looking at the nautical charts or whatever, the dam data. But this is just a hellish, disgusting, murky swamp right now. Uh, not sure if I even want Bo in the water, but uh, we'll have a go, I guess. Yeah, that toy is just covered in uh, milfoil right there. Yeah, this is really a bad morning. Better bring that bow, or this morning's gonna get worse for you. Bring it, come on. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Bo there thinks we're gonna do some squirrel stalking, but that's not really in the plans. Unless there's one right, right in front of her. Could be. Looks like it. Huh. Make a move, Bo, go on. Too slow, Bo. Ready, Bo? Bo, get that. Go on. Bo, Bo. Go on, get it. Go on. Go on. Yeah, she just wasn't ready for that one, I guess. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Thank you. Well, that was the end of the line. We're turning around. 
Uh, truth be told, I didn't even want to walk this far in the first place, but the boat was walking pretty good, so we had the extra 100 yards. I just gotta get out of the squirrel zone and get her back on the walking path and then conclude this walk. Well, we didn't see any other dog out here today, just, just a bunch of athletes like us. Uh, I just don't think this is the optimal dog walking weather. <clears throat> the poor air quality is, is uh, poor for sensitive folks. Bo's rural sensitive, as you can tell. And I have mild asthma. Um, <clears throat> and so, this isn't the best of days for outdoor activities. Bo, stop wiggling that butt. Seriously. Well, back at swimming hole number two, we're gonna do a quick uh, water break here. <coughs> Drink some water, Bo. Drink some water, go on. Cool off, I guess. Here she comes. Well, the walk is pretty much concluded. We didn't see any other dog, which is weird. Uh, a first for us, I think. Maybe those Jack Russell ter Terriers will come out. It's our only hope, I guess. Those loud, annoying little white dogs I'm talking about. We'll walk along the levee today. Let's see if we can get him rousted. Bo, come on. There they are. That's gratifying. Well, I'm just gonna spray this brisket off a little bit right here. Brisket point, and then the pork butt. They're both coming, looking pretty good so far. Put them on at uh, 10 p.m. last night. Yeah. Well, gotta go run to the store and get some coleslaw for Abigail. Uh, just leave a bow in the window there. Hey! Hey! <laughs> almost there, Bobo. We're almost there. Well, it's still Sunday, 3.09 p.m., 90 degrees. This park area is just packed with all kinds of activities today. Uh, hopefully there's not, like these folks here aren't doing any swimming. Me and Bo are coming down to our swimming hole. I'm just, have my doubts, there's a lot, so many people, I can't imagine these people not being in the water also, so we'll have to see. Well, this place is pretty crowded, but how do we make this area work? Whoop. Ah. This is a new latex toy. I got a couple birds for Dave's dogs. We're just giving this a trial run. Dave's dogs are hunting dogs and it doesn't make sense for them to do pigs and hippos. So they need to do birds. This is the only bird I can find. Bo likes it though. 
See if I can throw it a little further. Nice job, Bo. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I can hug it pretty far. It's a little lighter than what we're used to playing with. It'll get the job done, though. Which is to get the dog in the water there. Waiting all day for this, really. So Travis and his kids are still in route, so we're not gonna be able to swim with Murphy, their little dog. That family lags quite a bit, but they're on vacation, so I guess it doesn't make no diff. I hope they're hungry, because there's a lot of meat coming off that smoker. Nice job, though. You wanna try the other new one? Yeah? Check it off. I think this is gonna be more popular. It's the same pig, but in bow pink. So this is gonna drive uh, Sam crazy. Ugh. Yeah. They go a little further when they're waterlogged, so we'll get some water in that sucker and then we'll really be able to huck it. Come on, Bobo, come on. Come on. Sons of bitches. Nice job, though. Mm -hmm. Yep, just me and the dog, me and Bo against the world. You know, we're just out here, just swimming. No Sam or Chase or Murphy. Just swimming out here on the Columbia River, August 1st, 2021. Nice job, Bo. All right, might as well try the green one, the green uh, chicken. Ready, Bo? Nice job, Bo. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Ready, Bo? What the heck? Whoa, Jace! Jace! Go on! Sam! What's happening, Chase? Where these dogs come from, I wonder. Well, Dave's house. Whoa! Oh, nice job, Bobo. Ready, Sam? I don't like getting those sons of bitches in the background. I gotta zoom a little better. Got two dogs right there. That's Chase in the foreground and Sam in the background for the roll call. And Bo right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sam doesn't like the little birds, they're too small, so this is the secret weapon. Let's see if he can get this. It's a large, uh, they just call it a coronavirus. Yeah, he can get that. Nice job. That's Sam's new favorite toy, I think. I'm guessing. Look at that thing. Yeah, he likes that. Yeah. Bo likes it too, it looks like.
see if you can get that. It's kind of big. Oh yeah. Doing good, Bo. Come on. Come on. Chase right there. Here we're trying to do a double bird here. Unprecedented. <laughs> Bobo, seriously? Bo, go on. Yeah. We're not good at doubling up anymore, I guess. Bo, you wanna get go on and get that? Go on. There she goes. Bobo, come on! Shoot. Bo, come on! Bo, here! Whoa. Yeah. Well, Chase has arrived. So is Travis and his family. Right there. And there's Dave. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Oh, the dog's still in her hand there. All right. Where did Bo go? Oh. No, close there. Oh, right there. This is Murphy. What kind of dog? He's a Chihuahua mix? Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yeah, a Chihuahua and a Chihuahua and a Chihuahua and a Chihuahua. Does he do anything? He does fist bump. Yeah, Murphy. Fist bump. Which hand? Which hand? Find it. You want to know? I can't do it right now. Fist bump? Yeah, he doesn't want to do it now. He's too worried. Look, his head is bigger than Murphy. One of these paws. Oh, Murphy's growling. Also, if you're just like laying near him and then you get up. Or if you stop petting him or whatever, yeah. Come on. So he's actually a bad boy. You're right. Do you bump your head? Okay, I got three dogs in here with me right now. I just pulled the pork, it came out really good. Probably my best pork I've ever done. And uh, I'm gonna sauce them up. But first, um, how's that pork though? Is that good? How's that pork, Sam? Is that good? I got you, Chase. Get all these nice pork scraps for Chase. How's that pork, Chase? Is that good? Yeah? All right, let's sauce these up.
Well, the food turned out pretty good. Hey guys. Yeah, that's how you get a free dog show. Oh, there Who's that barking? Yeah. Hey Sam. 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 There's the action we're waiting for. Stand your ground, Murphy. Good boy, Murphy. Good boy. Don't take that shit. Stuff. Here, Sam. Sam. Oh, he's trying to make it through. Sam, I'm about to feed Bo here. I gotta lock that door. Sam, come on. Oh, Chase. Come on. Come on. Chase. Okay, Travis's girls didn't eat nearly as much as I had thought they would. So a lot of this is just their scraps. So we're looking at some sausages, uh, brisket and pulled pork, mixed in with their healthful uh, kibble. It's almost eight o'clock on Sunday and uh, it's a little late for Bill's dinner, but uh, it's better late than never. So now she's getting to the good stuff right there, you can tell. Yeah, that's a brisket right there, I think. Thanks for coming over, guys. <laughs> we'll try to swim tomorrow, okay? I mean, definitely swim tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Yeah, we like three more days. Well, it's 8:13 p.m. We just finished dinner and everything with Travis and his brood. That there's Bo. We're doing a quick uh, river access. Bo, too far. <whistles> Bo, come on. Okay, there's Dave's leaving right there, his dogs. And these are Travis's kids right here. Oops. There. No, uh, right. Oh, that's Bo's best friend, Betsy's house right there. That's hard. That dog's low to the ground. Murphy. Bring it. Come on, bring it. Nope. Drop it. He's got it though. <laughs> Waiting on Travis. He's getting another squeaky toy right now. All right. Run, Travis. Run like you've never run before. He's coming with another toy. Come on. Come on. Okay, here he comes. Come on! Oh, see, here's the lollipop. <laughs> oh, 
my tearful reunions of all his lollipops. Here it comes. Oh, it's a lollipop. <laughs> all right. Oh, no. oh, Bo wants it. Now, this is Murphy. Oh, uh, new toy, though. Take it yours, Bo. <laughs> Everything's yours for the taking. No, he's like, no, that's my toy. <laughs> Bo, oh, no. Murphy. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty fast. I think Oh, he might be because he's male. He's oh, usually a gender based thing. He's a gelding. Oh. It's not better, she's just different. Well, here we are swimming hole number one. Murphy, if you want to get uh, some water, here's your chance. Uh, this is the mighty Columbia River. So where's the Tacoma or whatever? Yakima. Uh, you might have to go get that ball. Bo, bring it. Come on. Bo, bring it. Bo, bring it. Bo, Bo, bring it. Bring it. Come on. Thank you, Bo. Good enough. Oh. Oh, no. No, oh. Good boy. Oh, oh, oh. Good boy. Oh, he can't do it. No, it's too wet. Whoa, whoa. I think he likes it. Huh? All right. He's like, I don't know. It's all these spiders here. Oh, you can see them all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I almost walked into, literally. You just walked into a I almost did, yeah. Oh, we were down here earlier today. This this area is clear, clear right here. Just follow me. Don't clear oh. Hey, Bo. Since we're down here, we might as well. Yeah, the water's real low. Uh, Bo, grab, grab that ball, will you? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Bo, get the ball. She's getting hydrated, it looks like, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Bubba, come on. Whoopsie oh, daisy. Bubba, come on. Take it off. We're not going to go see Hank. It's way too late. Time. I've been many, many weeks. It was on my clean clothes, which I put on the toilet to change into after a shower, and then I picked up. <laughs> There's Diamond and Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get Bo off the porch. Oh! Well, the rest of them are just going home. All right. Well, it was an unexpected little visit, but it was nice. So now it's 9 o'clock. It's almost our bedtime, actually. But uh, anyways, let's go find Travis and his kids and stuff. Load up. Hi, thank you. 
Load up. And I'll see if Bo will load up, but she won't. <laughs> Go on, jump up. Go on. Jump up. Jump up. Wake up and jump up. Go on. Bobo, we'll jump up. Jump up. <laughs> okay. Well, it's Monday morning, 7.45 a.m., 73 degrees, 76% humidity. That there's Bo. We're gonna do a very quick walk. We kind of kind of slept in this morning, which is real nice. You okay? Um and my little bro is still in town. It left a load of laundry in the dryer. And so we anticipate them sleeping in and also and then probably coming around nine, between nine and ten o'clock based on their uh general progress daily progress on their epic western states road trip um so i was going to walk her real quick around the block maybe finish up urban style get some poop out of her and then uh, start doing some work from home but personally suits in her paw Yeah, I didn't believe it when I looked on the phone internet, but it said that air quality is gonna be low. And it is <clears throat> pretty low. It's either my allergies or the uh, air quality that's exacerbating my, my breathing right now. <clears throat> and even Bo, you can hear, she's kind of panting a little bit more than normal. But I don't know if she's a sensitive group in terms of uh, response to poor air quality. All right. Oops. Uh, we're gonna skip that swimming hole because of the spider hazard and try to find a, at least a place for her to get a drink. Oh, shoot. Hey, Bo, little dog's coming up on us. That was a two-year-old cockapoo. I thought it was like a 16-year-old little white dog, but it was pretty friendly. I guess. Uh, now, Bo wants to do Squirrel Alley, but we don't have time to do Squirrel Alley today. We're gonna just go past Mr. Cougar here and try to get some river access this morning. There's Mr. Cougar. Oh, come on. You can see she's just getting warmed up, but uh, We can't dilly daddle this morning because of the late start. But odds are 100% that she'll be swimming this afternoon. So she'll get most of her exercise then. This is the place, one of our old swimming holes. That's a tree branch you used to always hit my head on. It's kind of sketchy coming down. Thought I heard a squirrel right there. All right, stand by. Get some water, Bo. Thank you. You get to head all the way in the water. Oh, it's sunk. 
Yeah, Sam had destroyed that ball I found yesterday, so it's in the water. <laughs> Sorry, Bo. It's not giving up. I don't know if you can see that ball, but it's, well, it's right there. Hey, Bo. That ball is uh, lost to the ages. Hey, Bo. Bobo. Mr. Grizzly Bar. You better jump over that or something. The limbo. Come on. Huh. Or just walk around, I guess. Just go. go on. Well, the walk is pretty much uh, winding down. It is uh, 818. So, you know, I don't know. I do know. It's going to end up being like a 45 minute walk, which is kind of a standard easy walk. Monday morning coming down to style walk, I guess. But she's pretty low energy today too. She had a very, very busy day. And Travis and his brood left. Bo just went ahead and crashed on the floor like I've never seen her crash. That's why last night I had to kind of wake her up to get down to the bed, if you remember that. Hey, Bo, come on. Let's wrap this up, come on. Well, it's 11 o'clock, still Monday morning. This gives you a good in indication of Travis's morning routine when he's on uh, vacation. This is what I would uh, consider first thing in the morning for him. Yeah, that's a good boy. Four bowls and... Is it their mid-morning snack? Is it brunch? Was that Moose Tracks and that one that had the huge glob of chocolate? Yeah. Oh! We're going to bring all the suitcases in and just sort it all. I think I'm doing some kind of pre-fold pre, uh, now. Sort through stuff. I didn't get it off that one. What is this, stain? Oil stain here. Kevin's got a fair amount of oil in his, uh, washer. No, I don't think it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Abigail's way? This is something Bo's never seen in real life before. What they're doing now is they're folding all their clothes. They did the laundry yesterday. And this is, uh, the clothes from the front. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
this used to go up higher. That probably did. Well, they're all gone now. And uh, both missed her, uh, her brunch. So I cooked these uh, mac and cheese jalapeno sausages also, but the girls didn't like that. I thought they liked the mac and cheese, but they had a real problem with pasta being in a sausage. But uh, Bo will get a few right now. I usually feed her at 11. It's 12.20 now. I really need to get to work at some point here. I have to increase my efficiency this afternoon. Um, most of that brisket you just saw is going to be, I'm going to freeze it, and we're going to make brisket beans in a couple weeks. I found that brisket's a good bean additive. Get it all? Well, it's 4.05 uh, p.m., still Monday. It's a relatively nice 98 degrees, and the air quality looks to be getting a little better than, than we experienced this morning. So uh, me and Bo are fixing to head down to our uh, swimming hole there and uh, get a little bit of swimming in. All right, she knows where we're going, I guess. Huh. Well, I'll better go find her. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, Chase, what's happening? Hey! I'm coming. Oh, shoot. Hey, Sam. How's it going? Do a quick roll call. That's uh, Sam. There's Bo, who you know. There's Chase. Today, we're just going with three large honking pigs. We like to mix things up mainly for Bo. Good job, Sam. Nice job, Bobo. No fear. Ready? <laughs> nice action, Bobo. <laughs> hey, Chase. That's a good little swim there. Nice job, Bobo, come on. Come on! Thank you, Chase. Um, looks like Bo found a bag of trash floating down the river. I don't know what the uh, moral hazard situation is. Do we have to throw it out if she brings it on shore or do we just throw it back in the river? Oh my God, it looks like, I hope, you know, I hope it's not a diaper. We found diapers down here. No, 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 no. Chase. Ah, leave it. Chase. Chase. Hey, Bo. Bo, seriously. Come on. <whistles> Bo. Come on. Thank you. Whoops. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. 
Meanwhile, Bo, being Bo, a rare retrieval. Nope, an aborted retrieval. Bo, you want to get that ball? Seriously? No. That's a dog right there. That dog's name is Chase. And Sam. And Bo. Oh, uh, mine just wandered right there. It's pretty good though for Bo. For dry land retrieval after swimming. Uh, this what happens every time I go in this chair to read a book. Bo gets her third wind of the day. Well, things are now getting out of hand. I wasn't paying close attention and she just uh, upturned her toy basket into her bed right there. It's 7.48 p.m. This is usually when she gets her third, her third wind. Are you serious? <clears throat> Bring it here. Bring it right here. <laughs> Go on, jump up. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Well, it's Tuesday morning, seven twelve AM. I forgot to set my alarm down in the basement today and we're running real late. <clears throat> we know that dog up on the levee, so it's not gonna be a problem. I think we know him. Bobo, come on. 
No, we don't. Bo, bring it. Bo, Bo, bring it. Bo, Bo, stand down. All right, go on, go on. Well, what you, what you would have expected to happen what happened because that dog was on a leash, Bo was not. She's running free. There's a little bit of growling, uh, but it's okay. Okay, come on, let's get that poop out of you. Well, we did stop by and talk, talk to uh, Carol today. And uh, turns out her friend does have some kind of loose organization that donates to the uh, food to the homeless. So I have a, a path, disposal path for all those uh, insurers and probably even that protein drink because Travis said he tried one yesterday and they're gross. So, uh, oh. Yeah, Carol's uh, 89 years old, same age as uh, Willie Nelson. And I, she gave me some good advice. I said I was running late, so we couldn't chat very long. And uh, she said, it doesn't matter if you're running late. So that's good advice. But we are gonna try to make this a pretty quick walk because uh, I'm a little bit behind in work because of uh, Travis and his family yesterday. And uh, my general inability to do much work on a Monday. Uh, Bo, you coming? Bobos, that's just a bird. Come on. Well, you can see how short this walk is gonna be, actually. We're just gonna go through this little neighborhood here and then do our urban walk. But uh, the main thing is she got her poop out of her and she can run around at the test site today if she needs to, or just spend the day on the couch. Bo, get out of the street. Bo, here. Don't think about it, Bo. Come on. Uh, Bo, check it out. Bo, 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 Mr. Grizzly Bear. No interest anymore in the bear. Well, we're gonna chalk up this walk to being one of the worst. But uh, we'll try to make up for it tomorrow. I hear a dog in a car. All right. Uh, there's a dude and a German Shepherd or a Husky coming up on us. Bo, come on. We're gonna avoid that. I don't feel like it today. Not this morning. This is the uh, Tri-Cities Gold Vault, or Vault, I should say. And that's where uh, sometimes I exchange. Well, I'm not gonna say what I do there, I guess. Hey, Bo. <whistles> For security reasons. Bobo, come on. And that building there on the corner is a new uh, used bike store called the Reborn Bike Shop. Oops. Hey, Bo. Bo, too far. <whistles> Got to keep her on a tight virtual leash. Oh.
I'm leaving, Bo. Let's see if this works. It hasn't yet. Well, it's 5.30, Tuesday afternoon, 100, 102 degrees. Normally we'd be swimming, but I had to work a little late today. Bo, you coming? Come on. Load up. Oh, I'm not fooling. Load up. Thank you. Bo, you gotta get it yourself. Go on. You can get it. Go on. Good girl. Nice job, Bo. I knew you can get that. That's a good job. Seriously? Lost a page in my book. <laughs> Damn dog. Seriously, Bo? Well, go on, jump up, go on. Jump up. Well, it's Wednesday morning, 74 degrees. It feels like 64 because we have a little bit of uh, cloud cover here. Hey, Bo. Wow, sorry about the poop. Okay. No sense of doing this, she already pooped, but I think it's fun for her. Yeah. Well, made it uh, 
past the first leg of this walk, which is Mr. Cougar right there, we're gonna um, attempt to bypass the first section of Squirrel Alley and, and get this dog in the water so uh, she can get a drink and uh, do a little swimming as yeah, she does that. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna bypass that first section like I thought we were going to. This dog's got a mind of her own. Nope. Them laws don't apply to Bo. It's just the law of the jungle. Bo versus the squirrels. Well, that was very disappointing. Hey, Bo, come on. Let's get you in the water. Nary a single squirrel. Hey, Bo, at a minimum, you gotta get that ball. Go on. Go on. Seriously. And it was a bad throw, but still, you gotta fall through with this deal. Come on, bring that in. Come on. Thank you. I'm not sure what she's seeing right there. Could be a squirrel, I didn't see it though. She might just be checking out each and every tree for squirrels. Oh, there he is. Okay, where is he? Okay, let's go, come on, Bobo, come on. All right, now we're in the heart of Squirrel Alley. We just pulled off that walking path because of a cyclist that just turned around, All right, we pulled off. Um, She's sniffing at some trash right there. Bo, let's go, come on. Oh. We're trying to establish a pretty fast pace. Uh, Kirsten, my, my little bro's uh, bride, discovered the other day that she walks really fast. And so that's kind of dedicating this morning walk to that, that kind of pace. If I walk uh, 10 to 15% faster each walk, it's a lifetime savings of probably 350 hours. I just made up those numbers, but I should maybe figure that out at work. Hey, Bo, come on. Okay, well, she'll catch up. I have my pace. Bo, get that. Bobo, fetch it up. Bo, fetch it up. Go on, fetch it up, Bo. Fetch it up. Go on. Bo, fetch it up.
Go on. Go on. Uh, touch it up. Go on. Touch it up. Thank you. Jeez. Thank you, Bo. <laughs> Guys, listen to a dog video. Dogs also use their owner as a secure base. He wasn't walking a dog. Bo! Here! Or nothing. Maybe he had a virtual dog. But uh, I don't know if I'm a secure base for this dog. I think she uses me quite a bit. Bo, that's skunk country. Whoops, there she goes. You know, maybe sometime this year I should get some more skunk uh, tinctures, which is like hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide and uh, what's your uh, baking soda? I just have a bad feeling about it, especially since I just brought it up. Well, this is the end of, the, well, this is the turnaround point, I guess, not the end of the walk, but hey, Bo, let's finish strong, okay? Go on. All right, we have a potential. Oh, there's a squirrel way out of there. Potential squirrel situation brewing here. There's no guarantees. I think they're starting to come out though. They thought we wouldn't be coming back this way. There's one. Right to the left of that tree. Oh, he disappeared. There he is. Too slow, Bo. Well, this pretty much ends the fun part of this walk. We're gonna go head up them stairs and then walk back along the street in the urban situation. Got to get her off this, all this trash and all the squirrels. It's a funny thing when the urban streets of Richland are cleaner than the uh, community parks. That's uh, the way things are in these times. What they should do, people, they should throw more trash out of their car doors as they drive to kind of even things up instead of just saving it all for the parks. Let's go. Bo. Bo, Bo, scooch me. Bo, come on. hell is she doing down there? Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> this is a good example of a second wind on the morning walk. Oh, maybe not. This is a good example of her lounging. Well, thus ended the morning walk. It's uh, 7.13. I can't remember what time we left, but it seems like it was quicker than normal. I don't know.
well, we're at work now and uh, I can't get Bo off my lap. That's the problem with these bench style seats with these little rigs, these Ford Rangers and other similar rigs is when you get a bench seat and you have a, a dog like this sometimes and you're trying to start the work day and she's just kind of lounging on your lap. It's hard to, hard to know what to do. The initial plan is just to wait her out, but we've been here for 10 minutes. And that kind of time adds up. Taken away from the work day. All right, Bobo. Nose to the coal face. Let's get into work. Come on. Yeah, somebody's getting real excited here. Well, it's 4.05 p.m. Still Wednesday. It's 99 degrees. That there's Bo. We're headed down to the... Well, she's headed down to the watering... The swimming hole there. Who's this? <laughs> Kind of missed the shot there. I heard him running, but I couldn't really pick him out because he's so fast. That's Chase. Hey, what's happening? Go on, I'm coming. Hey, we'll do a quick roll call. There's uh, Mr. Sam, Bo in the middle, and then Chase right there. We'll have another look at Bo. Nice job, Bubba. This chase right there. Yeah. Come on, Chase, just pick one. Come on. You gonna help out, Bo? Bowen Chase right there. A lot of yelling off camera to get Bo out there, but it turned out good. Here comes Chase. I don't know what you saw, but uh, I threw the duck there. And she ended up running all the way down the bank. Here she comes. Oops. What were you thinking, Bo? You throw something for her?
Anybody? Just waiting for a toy. There you go. Bo. Oh, there's all kinds of Bo. Yeah, a communication breakdown, looks like. The boat just gave up. Oh, that's why. Not a whole lot of action here. Give, 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 give. Except for Chase. And Sam. Oh, he doesn't have a toy. <laughs>